Hey, what's going on guys? Matt from Memory Tech here and today we're taking a look at the NVIDIA 970 and a question that has popped up on my mind is can the NVIDIA 970 game at 4K at 60 frames per second? About a year and a half ago I made a video on the 970 of it gaming at around ultra settings on a few games at around 30 frames per second but I want to aim for 60 frames per second and this video was inspired by Reddit, would you believe? And on the PC Master Race subreddit, I commented saying my 970 can game at 4K 60 frames per second in games such as Battlefield 4 GTA 5 at high settings. And of course, the nature of Reddit responded with, you're lying, yeah, maybe on a 980 Ti. Downvotes, downvotes, more downvotes, and even more downvotes that I got for saying that the Nvidia 970 can game at 4K and they were like, no, you're wrong. You are wrong. And I'm like, do you even have a 970? No. That's what I thought. So today, we're going to benchmark the 970. And when people say that I'm wrong, I'm going to show who's really right. Okay, to start off with, we're going to go through what 970 we are actually using. And for this video, we are using... The Asus Strix NVIDIA 970, but did I mention that this ain't no stock 970? No, no, no. This is overclocked to the fuck. When I mean overclocked, we overclocked this beast to over 1500 megahertz, which is a substantial boost over its stock settings. We also overclocked the memory to 8000 megahertz as well, which will give us a nice boost in performance when gaming at 4K. Obviously, restrictions with the 970 is the whole 3.5 RAM issue. Of course, if that wasn't a limiting factor, we had like the full 4 gigabytes or even 8 gigabytes, we could possibly get higher. This is why many people prefer the R9 390 to the 970 because of that extra frame buffer. Because the 390 does perform better at resolutions such as 1440p and 4K. But to start off with, we're going to benchmark a few games. We're not going to go through any synthetic benchmarks for this run because all we care about right now is raw gaming performance. And to start off with, we're going to benchmark GTA 5. And this is running at a custom setting, not a preset. It's running at some parts on high, some parts even on very high as well. Obviously, the full settings that we are using is on your screen now. And we basically, we benchmarked GTA 5 for a good half an hour really. So I wanted to get an intensive benchmark and also a fair bench, a benchmark as well. So basically we, paid, we played for like how I would usually play the game. It's me going around with my friends, me going around in, in boats, helicopters, different cars, causing all sort of, sorts of action, just flying through the air, blowing the shit out of everything. Basically anything that you'd expect to do in GTA 5 online and reddit I told you my 970 can game at 60 frames per second the benchmarks do prove that I'm right 65 frames per second was the average with only 55 frames per second as the minimum which is fantastic that minimum frames per second is brilliant as well because we're not dipping too many frames as well and our average is 65 frames per second and for a little card that was marketed at 1080p and 4040p gaming that is pretty good indeed another game that we're going to have a look at is also battlefield 4 now battlefield 4 is quite a graphically beautiful game still to this day the frostbite 3 engine is beautiful and it's well optimized as well so a lot of hardware can run this at good settings but for the 970 we decided to put Battlefield 4 on the high preset so that's high settings and HBA, HBAO plus and we also have no anti-aliasing on high but we don't actually need anti-aliasing for 4k because the resolution is high enough it doesn't really make a difference in my eyes but for this Battlefield 4 benchmark, we went on a 64 player server. So a lot of players running around, a lot of explosions, a lot of action sequences happening. A lot is happening in this benchmark, okay? We got an average of 59.5 
frame per second. And no, I know, I know. That's not 60 frames per second. It's 0.5 of a frame under. But we're just going to round it to 60 frames per second and just say, yeah, it, it can game at 60 frames per second because half a frame is not really much of a difference now. So that 59 frames per second is also quite impressive for th this little card as well. Remember what they say, it doesn't matter about the size, it matters about your power and the efficiency. Ladies. And the 970 certainly does have power and efficiency. Obviously in a few months time the 970 is going to be old news and we're going to make way for the 1070 which is rumoured to be this equivalent to a Titan X which means 4K is going to be on the cheap soon. Well, depends what you would class as cheap, but for what this is, for what the 970 is right now, you can get away with playing a lot of games at 4K at 60 frames per second. Of course, you're not going to want to play games like The Witcher 3 because even that struggles at 1080p max with the 970. But games like GTA, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, I, pl I play at 4K on that get 60 frames a second so games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Shadow of Mordor even you can get it to play at 60 frames per second. Games like that you can play at 4k 60 frames per second but at the end of the day if you want to play at 60 frames per second it's going to come down to you. Do you want to sacrifice graphics for higher resolution and frames per second or would you rather just step down to 4040p which is still class as the sweet spot for gamers but with the 10 with the nvidia 10 series and the new polaris amd gpus that could all change for 4k anyway guys if you found this video interesting or informative in some shape or form make sure to hit that subscribe button and also if you like this video and smiled or even found it entertaining in some aspect make sure to slam me a like because that makes me feel happy on the inside and if you didn't, didn't like this video for some reason, well, I'm sorry. Anyway, guys, we got some brilliant videos planned up for you for the, the next week. Obviously, I'm not going to be posting as much as I'm going to be hoping to because exams, horrible exams that I have to do because I don't want to be sitting in my underpants for the rest of my life. So I've got to pass them. But th the next video that I've got planned up is actually... In collaboration with Crucial, the, you know that famous manufacturer of SSDs and RAM, we're working with them for an upcoming video. So that is some exciting news, and you got and you're going to want to stay tuned to find out about that one. Anyway, guys, I'm Matt from MLC Tech here, and I'll catch you in the next one.